welcome to the Mealing Racing YouTube channel. Hey guys, Garrett Mealing here with Mealing Racing. Today we're going to uh, degree the cans in the car. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm kind of learning as I go. I've been fiddling with it now for a day or so. Um, I've got the can specs for what they're supposed to be written right here. Um, they're Brian Crower 280s. Um, I actually emailed Brian Crower because I've had these cams for years and he got back to me right away, so props to him. Um, the, if you look at this, this is what I'm going to be measuring today. So this is intake open at 50 thou, close at 50 thou, exhaust open, exhaust close at 50 thou. You got an exhaust center of 114 degrees, an intake center of 106. Um, intake opens at 3 degrees before top dead center, closes at 35 after bottom dead center. Um, minus six before top dead center, close on the exhaust, open at 42 before bottom dead center. So I'm going to measure what they're actually at in the car. I'll tell you right now, the fiddling I've been doing, they're not this. So there is going to be some adjustments to make. Um, I'll write the actuals on here and then we'll make some adjustments and try and, uh, dial it in so they're installed straight up so when I go to the dyno and where I'm starting at. So this is the tool I got to find top dead center. Just screws in a spark plug hole. I can up you down as you move a piston. Pretty much just measure 100 thou each side of uh, top dead center and average it. That gives you your exact top dead center. Okay so I'm looking for top dead center here. I got it set 100 thou below top dead center, before top dead center, got this little tool that screws in there, and then I'm going to turn it to 100 thou the other side and mark it at both spots. So right now we'll mark it right there, so it's at basically eight and a half. And then I'll turn it to 100 thou after top dead center. So this looks exactly the same because I've gone, I'll get it to focus. I've gone past top dead center to 100 thou down. And then that put us, I misspoke on the last one. We were at uh, 18 and a half. And this puts us at, Sixteen and a half. There. So now you divide those by two. So that should be. Well, I'm not going to do math because I can't think. Anyways, we split those, and that'll give us our true top dead center. Okay, so half of that was seventeen and a half. So I've moved it a little bit. I'll just turn this back to TDC and see where our dial indicator ends up. Okay, so we've got the marker on TDC, and our dial indicator is reading like less than half a thou off a of zero, so I'm going to call that good. Okay, so this isn't ideal because I don't have the right tools for it, but I'm going to make by. Um, obviously the engine can move separately from the shock tower, but I have a couple of solid mounts in there, it's pretty stiff. As long as I don't bump things, it seems to return to zero every time. So we'll use this. It's not perfect. You should be having a cool mount that like mounts to your cam caps or something awesome, but I don't have that. So for right now, we're on the cam base circle. Got her at zero thou, and then we're gonna rotate the engine over. We're starting at top dead center. We'll rotate the engine over and uh, measure where it falls versus my little chart here on my kids art easel. Okay so here's our intake open 50 thou. Okay so now I'm at max lift which is 420 thou. It doesn't read exact because I am using hydraulic lifters which is not ideal for this you want to be using solid lifters but I've triple checked and I keep getting the same numbers and they make sense so If our intake center 
is supposed to be at 106, then we want to be at 96 on here, and I'm at 95. So, you know, yeah, it's so close. So I'm going to call that correct. We'll call it 96 because I didn't uh, go plus minus on this to confirm. The best, easiest way to confirm is to go 50 thou either side of it and then average those two numbers and that'll get you even closer. But I'm so close that I'm comfortable with where I'm at. So, we'll put this here on the outside. 96 degree actual. And we'll carry on to close. All right, we're at intake close now. Bang on 50 thou before full close. And we are at a 25. Bang on 25. So that continues with our trend of 10 degrees out. We have 25 to 35, 96 to 106, and 13 to 3. So that should be working pretty good. And that should be 218 intake duration. So even though I'm using a hydraulic lifter, my numbers make sense. Um, probably part of the reason is, is this engine has not ran in months. So the, the lifters aren't pumped up or anything weird. They're probably sitting pretty flat. I do notice when uh, it sits at full lift, you can watch the lifter bleed down a couple thou. Okay, so I gotta move Retard this cam by 10 degrees to get it to where it needs to be, which is each notch on the cam gears 2 degrees at the crank, so I need to move the intake cam 5 degrees. So I'm going to put her back at top dead center, move this 5 degrees, and then uh, we'll check it again. Okay, so I got this all loosened up now. I'm going to take the trusty all 16 and 17 mil. All sixteenths is going to hold the cam, and we're going to retard the intake cam by five notches on here. Right there. So now we're retarded five on the cam. And that will should equal, if I'm right, 10 degrees on the crank. Okay, so that's tightened back up. I do have to rotate it to get to here, but I'll do that once I spin it. Um, we're back at zero on the dial indicator on our base circle. I'm going to do this again. Write down new numbers. Hopefully they match the actual ones. If I get this first try, I'll be pumped. This is more luck than anything, because I seriously have never done this before, but that is two and a half. I'm pretty sure my measurements are out by more than half a degree. Well, maybe not, but half a degree is close enough for me. She's one thou off of 50 there, so it's probably pretty much bang on. So, that means this is now the actual so it's where it should be i'll continue going around in the circle here and make sure that the other two numbers line up that'll kind of be a triple check to make sure everything makes sense right around 417 418 left again and we're at 105 and a half i'm gonna call that 106 because that's how I roll. Close enough for the girls I go out with, as my grandfather used to say. Okay, we're on intake close, 50 thou. Now we got 36. 35. I'm willing to bet that's the hydraulic lifter doing its thing. 36 degrees. 
I'm happy with that. And now, so we've, we've got the intake installed as per the cam card. Now we gotta check the exhaust. Just to show you, I came back around to the base circle here at TDC and I'm one thou out now. So I'm chalking that up to the hydraulic lifters collapsing. Um, like I say, you should have solid lifters in here. I don't know, solid lifters, I feel like one thou is a lot better than the 10 degrees out that I was before I started this. So I'm comfortable with the fact that we're a shitload closer than we used to be. Okay, so I got the exhaust side set up. It's just as ghetto as the intake side. I got a nice little wood clamp holding my base here because there's nothing steel to magnetize it to. Anyways, whatever. We're set at zero on here, here to focus. And nothing, something else I should note is, is when you put this on, you need your dial indicator to be parallel with your valve spring. You want the movement in both directions to follow the valve spring. Okay, so I was thinking a little bit too hard and I had this clamp on the pulley of the water, or not the water pump, the power steering, which obviously moved as soon as I turned the engine over. So that was dumb. So we'll try this again. Okay. So this is on the, I'm at 50 here. And we are at 42. So I've got my other camera in the way here, but it's supposed to open at 42. So we are bang on. I'm gonna use blue. 42. So that's good. So I'll try and catch max lift here. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Should we just buy four? I think. Right there. Hey, boo -boo. Hey, boo -boo. Hi, Griffin. Hi, Dad. You see Dad, that lifter collapsing? Ah, uh, but she's watching. Okay, that should be Max right there. Okay, so the lifter is collapsing because I'm at peak lift here. But anyways, I went back and forth a couple times, a few thou each side of peak lift and I'm fairly happy that that's where I'm at we are at 245 on the wheel but you want to be degrees before um, I forget bottom dead center anyways doesn't matter 245 you subtract 360 from that it gives you 115 so 115 is only one degree off of 114 and as I said before I was half a degree out or whatever on there at opening I'm a degree out here and we'll see if I get to minus six before top dead center on the close okay we're at 50,000 closing we are at Seven. The angle, right? Yeah, six and a half, seven. Get this camera out of the way. That's uh, again, we're within one or a half of where it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna chalk that up again to my first time doing it slash hydraulic lifters. So I'm pretty happy. I don't have to move the exhaust. The intake I've already adjusted and uh, I think we can hit the dyno and be confident these things are installed as close to straight up as I can get them with the ghetto tools that I'm using and uh, I'll maybe try a plus four minus four minus four plus four a couple different things on the dyno and see what it does to the power curve all right so first time I feel like I did pretty good can't complain um, I did a little calculations there, I used a Wallace Racing calculator, entered in uh, my numbers here, 
numbers in orange here are my uh, actuals versus what the cam card says. So intakes 218 duration, I measured it at 219. 216 duration on exhaust, I measured it at 215 and a half. And my overlap is supposed to be minus three and I'm minus four. So for using hydraulic lifters and not a piston stop, just a top dead center measuring tool, I think, uh, can't complain. I think it's pretty close. Um, if you like this video, hit subscribe, hit like, have a good night. We'll talk to you later.